We like off-roading these cars just because of the thrill. It's a you know slow-moving train wreck that you're in control of, and you can wreck this you know hundred thousand dollar car, or you can get it through to your end goal. And I kind of like always being on the edge of you know I'm not getting home, or I just had the best adventure of my life. My name is Daniel Marcello. I'm president of Brooklyn Coachworks here in New York City. I always loved design. I always loved the aesthetic and building things. But I always had this passion that was like, how can I get out of work quicker on a Friday to go do my wild thing and get back in time Monday morning at 9 a.m. to get to my job? See, my background was in advertising and, and working on a magazine. I knew how to sell cars, I knew how to build cars, and I just kind of married the two. and. Yeah, it's been great since. I went to school for design, putting that into this, I can just spot something I know it's off. My eye is very keen to what I see. How do I get that axle under there? What is my driveline gonna be like? How's it gonna look? Aesthetic to me is everything. Aesthetic and durability on the car actually running. We try to take the original car and just slightly improve it. And it's kind of our philosophy, it's just is keeping these cars simple in that sense. It was a phenomenal car to be in with. We just upgrade little things, like put AC in, heated seats, backup cameras. I feel like a lot of people will try to bling the car out. I don't ever want to do that. The car was never a, a showpiece like that. You know, you can hose out the inside. Uh, it was a farmer's vehicle. You know, trial and error with my own car has taught me, you know, years of experience of this works, this doesn't work. I've test driven my car for the last 16 years, and because I can drive it in the city, I know what it can take on a day-to-day -day basis, what it can take in traffic, but I also can get in it and drive through the mountains three hours away, so it's not a weekend warrior, it's, it's a daily driver. Photography was always a great passion of mine. You build something pretty, you want to show the world how beautiful this thing can be. My one aesthetic when I photograph a car is, is making the car as little as possible with a lot of environment around it. I always feel that gives a sense of this car can do anything by itself. There's nothing else around it. It has that presence, it has that confidence to it. The Land Rover just has that kind of mystique of driving around the world. It's, it's adventure. It's not just going to the mountain and coming back home. It's about keep going through that mountain. That perfect day of off-roading is a long stretch, miles and miles of nothingness. Uh, it's just you and your vehicle. You have to rely on that vehicle that you made. It's, you know, it's making your own shoes and then walking in them. Something I really enjoy about these cars is, you know, you're close to nature. When I go off-road, I can smell the trees. You can feel the dirt. You know, dust is on you. It's in the car. It, it becomes more of just kind of a vehicle that brings nature inside. We're in the middle of nowhere sometimes. There's no AAA, there's no cell service. So I think it's a lot of just trust in the vehicle and, and understanding how you can mend it to make sure you get back. Craft to me is somebody's passion. You know, this is passion for me, this is not work. I love it so much that I just want to continue to do that, and that has become my craft. It's difficult, but, you know, why not? I can just live out of my car for the rest of my life. <laughs>